Um, to get us started, first of all, let me welcome you to City Hall. Uh, my name is Debbie McNulty. I'm the director of the Mayor's Office of Cultural Affairs. We couldn't be more delighted uh, that you chose uh, City Hall for this great presentation tonight. My main role is um, to thank you for being here, thank you for participating in the program, um, on behalf of Mayor Sylvester Turner. The mayor is a tremendous fan of individual artists, and he is very sorry he couldn't be here with us tonight. And I'm sorry uh, you didn't have the experience of seeing him light up when he gets to meet artists, because um, he enjoys uh, the, the work that you do, and your presence here in Houston is a tremendous value to the city. The work you do for our communities, and our schools, and our galleries, um, and our streets sometimes makes uh, the, the city just a great place to live, work, and visit, and we're so grateful that you're all here. One thing um, I want to make sure I do is thank uh, the Houston Public Library, um, had a nice role in the project in providing the space uh, for all your meetings, and we're really happy with our partnership with the library. Um, I could go on um, for days about the wonderful things the library does. We work directly with them on the Houston Poet Laureate Program, and if you haven't had an opportunity to see uh, Houston's Poet Laureate, Deborah D. Mouton in action, I hope you'll take that uh, opportunity in the next two years while she's our Poet Laureate. She's just a wonderful uh, representation for our city. Okay, hi. My ideas are like fireflies. You know they are there, you see them, you want to capture them, and then so magical times you do, and they become art and art generations. I am Luisa Duarte, a visual artist and a trained architect. I grew up surrounded by strong family ties, and uh, my grandfather's passion for art was contagious. He went to Paris during the Roaring Twenties to paint, and he passed that passion to me. He came back to Venezuela, a hopeful free country surrounded by modern art, where I was born. I started doing watercolors. It was an easy way to embellish my architectural drawings. Then I explored mixed media, and later I explored alternative printmaking. It was love at first edge. <laughs> In 2003, I moved to San Antonio, Texas, where I continue printmaking, and I work with a wonderful group of artists. I moved to Houston in 2006, and I was able to take all the art classes I wanted without the rigidity of a university career. First, I started doing a big series of monotypes here on your left. And then later I explore digital art. I love technology. It makes me feel part of the future. The piece on your right, Composition 4, was a generator of so many other pieces that I'm going to talk about. Construction and deconstruction is a very important part of my creative process. So I deconstructed Composition 4 on your right. Is that the right? Yes. And I created a set of parts in wood, and the intention was to create a sculpture. Well, that didn't happen, and those pieces were around, until I decided to use them as templates for my series Dialogue and Confrontation. A series of monochromatic monotypes where balance and tension channel real-life situations, and shape, texture, and position were protagonists. Those work on paper provoked me to create a set of small sculptures, another capture firefly. Like the monotypes, they have angular geometric forms with sharp edges, and the stony feel produced in a completely different way from the works on paper where they were derived. The generation continues, and I did uh, this watercolor inspired in the sculpture pieces. The crossing is one of them. Here again, I play with shape, balance, and tension. I like to work in colors, and I like to work in detail. In Sweden, Green, and Fuchsia, I have used 
strong color fields. The shapes are merged into each other, connected, playing with each other. The Galveston Art Center gave me the honor of hosting my first solo show in the U.S where the, these prints were introduced. <coughs> these are images of my solo show, Personal Scapes, Recent Prints. <sighs> I would like to give a personal plug to Galveston Art Center, especially then, where is he? Dennis Nance is around here, <laughs> for a great opportunity to show there and to be able to see my work presented in such a professional way. Mm -hmm. So those trapezoids, that were born from a digital image transformed into printing plates and then watercolors were constantly talking about tension, integration, and balance, a constant in my work. One of the biggest challenges I had in 2016 was being selected by the Washington Art District to create a public art. 21 feet high, 46, 46 feet long, big format mural. I was lucky to get a little help from my friends, of course. Well, this work for me is a celebration. It's a celebration of perseverance, heritage, friendship and community, and a celebration of Houston, a city that has welcomed me and so many others to grow roots. And and I just want to thank you. Thank you very much, Artists Inc., for this opportunity, the city of Houston, Fresh Art, my great group of artists and facilitators, and all of you who came here to encourage us to continue doing our work. I would love to hear from you. I'm at Silver Street Studios 122, and this is my website. Thank you very much.